what do you do when you're being hunted by some of the most ferocious predators ever to have walked the Earth? When herbivorous dinosaurs faced up to the likes of a T-Rex and Giganotosaurus, both predator and prey engaged in an evolutionary arms race to survive. But what lengths were these terrible lizards willing to go to to come out on top of the dinosaur deathmatch? One surefire way of avoiding the inevitable is to simply become unbelievably huge. Gigantic sauropods, like some titanosaurs, were the largest animals to have ever lived on land, reaching lengths of over 30 metres and weights of around 70 tonnes. That's more than 10 times the size of an elephant. Their legs could be a metre wide and their heads were raised up to 20 metres above the ground. That's high enough to peer in through a seven-storey window. More importantly, it's high enough to be out of reach of even the biggest predators. Combine this with a whip-like tail and a T-Rex at a mere six metres tall would have been nothing more than an irritation to these giants. But getting really big can put a bit of a downer on your lifestyle since you need to spend your entire life eating. So an alternative to size is speed. Probably the surest way of winning a fight is to avoid the fight altogether, and dinosaurs like the Ornithomimids certainly weren't afraid of running away. Gallimimus was one such sprinter. With long legs and strong hips, it could have reached speeds of up to 50 miles an hour, easily fast enough to leave a lumbering T-Rex in the dust. Other dinos? chose to make a stand, and faced with a melee, they needed some serious defences. Most dinosaurs had thick, leathery skin, but evolution gifted the predators with sharp teeth that would have made short work of even the toughest of hides. The answer? Reinforced body armour, like that of the magnificently medieval ankylosaurs. Dinos like Euoplocephalus were almost completely covered in bony and horny plates called scoots that fused together to make a solid shield to cover their back and sides. And their armoured heads bristled with horns and even their eyelids were covered. So to get at the squishy insides of an ankylosaur, enterprising hunters would have had to flip over the squat two-ton tank to get at its soft underbelly. Which is no mean feat when your dinner is fighting back. Ankylosaurs were also equipped with a heavy bony club at the end of its tail which could swing like a mace, delivering enough force to shatter an unsuspecting hunter's ankles or worse. But ankylosaurs aren't the only herbivores with bony modifications. Triceratops is probably the best known member of the ceratopsids dinosaurs, with crazily diverse skull shapes, with horns, frills and spikes crowding their faces. And while these elaborate helms could have been used in battle and defence, their flamboyant structures may have served a much more important purpose, showing off. And perhaps this trick was all that was needed. Since their appearance in the early Cretaceous, ceratopsids thrived for nearly 35 million years, diversifying into at least 40 different species, each more elaborate than the next. They were among the last dinosaurs on Earth. If you enjoyed this encounter with dinosaur defence, be sure to check out our other big dino questions. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Earth Unplugged.